Hey YouTube, it's Andrea here at Helping Hearts 888. Um, I actually am just hopping on here for a second just to check in. I haven't been on here for a few days. I've been doing a lot. Um, but I have some questions because um, I am a mommy of five. But um, this, is, this would be my first time trying out the cry it out method for a newborn um so i'm just asking some questions if any of you other moms or dads out here have tried this with your little one or even your toddlers because um they say that it's best to do it between four to six months um but i've been watching some youtubes and i see other moms doing it um at the toddler stage and everything but i am severely struggling with doing that <laughs> um i'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about um how it went um um well his father um and he is four months old right now um he'll be five months on the 12th but his father uh wanted to um just allow him to cry one day because i do nurse him and when you nurse you are bonded in another way he doesn't want anyone but me he doesn't want a bottle he doesn't want a pacifier he wants me um he could even if i'm holding him here he's sucking on my neck <laughs> um but it's that comfort feeling for him so i was cooking dinner and his dad was holding him and he's like you know he's fed he's changed he doesn't need to burp you know we're just gonna let him cry and I was struggling. When I say struggling, I was in the kitchen doing everything I could not to go get him. Um, the first thing as a mother, when you hear your child cry, you want to go soothe them. You want to pacify them. You want to make them happy. And for me, it was torture to hear him cry. And, you know, even though I knew that he was okay, his dad had him, he was not going to harm him and everything, it was really sad um so i'm not sure how i'm gonna be able to do this if i'm even going to do this because it's hard um so i just want like some advice if any of you guys have did it what you heard about it you know your experiences um because he cried for about 30 minutes um straight um i have tried to make sure first that all his needs are met and lay him in his playpen and let him fall asleep and no no um i actually have left the room and it takes a lot out of me not to go back in there and check on him because when i go in there to check on him um he sees me and then he wants me. So I had his dad go in. He seen him. He started up crying again. So it's very, very difficult. But as a mother, I have a lot of other responsibilities. I have other children and he does not just want to play. Um, he has um, he has a jumper. He has a walker. He has a baby um foot piano which i'm gonna do a review on i love it for me it was a must-have i have bought it with each of them um they just changed it up a little bit each year um but i love the fisher price baby foot piano because they love to kick and it develops their motor skills and they can reach up and grab things and i will be doing a review on that i'm gonna be doing a review on some other items too that i've tried out and um what I feel about breast pumps because I do have three different breast pumps and I actually have had some experience with those and I try not to use those now at all um personal choice um but back to the topic um it's really it's really really difficult to lay him down to do anything um sometimes i'm cooking with him in my arms i'm playing with the other kids with him in my arms doing dishes um doing laundry with him in my arms so i've been trying to do that but at the same time it's 
feelings in there. And I'm starting to realize that you heal certain aspects of yourself within your children, within your children, um, because I see so many things in my children and then I see things that I need to heal um issues that I've struggled with that I need to heal um um because it's really really hard I felt neglected as a child and there were certain things um I already did a video on um my childhood um and childhood traumas and dealing with them and um Hearing my baby cry for me is like um, the feeling of me neglecting him. Even though I know that I'm not and I know that he's safe and he's okay, it's just those feelings and I have to heal those um, childhood wounds. You know, sometimes I like to just meditate and I like to see myself as a child and give myself, it's like seeing yourself but you're your adult self and um if you can envision yourself as a child and um then envision yourself on the other side as your adult self and just giving yourself hugs and love it is amazing um there i've done mirror exercises where you um look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself um I am beautiful, I am worthy, I am abundant, I am healed, I am prosperous. And I like to practice that um, because I would find myself like an example. Um, when I bumped, let's say I got out of bed and I hit my knee on the bottom of my bed and it really, really hurt. Or you stub your toe and it's like, man, and you just start ranting and that can ruin your entire day just one small thing so instead of doing that when something like that would happen i would say i'm grateful that i even have a toe to stub i'm grateful that i have a knee it's being grateful for the small things that we have in life that really really matters because sometimes i complain and when i complain about things it's like why are you complaining about that there's people who don't even have these things or there's people who are struggling and it's not just you everything isn't just about us you know it's a bigger picture to it and we all are connected and it's like looking at things different so I like to do that in healing and I'm noticing that it's doing that I'm not going to say that I'm going to be able to do this that's why I'm on here talking about it to see if any moms have done it and how you guys felt when you were doing it the emotions that you guys felt um Emotions are very, 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 very important. Those emotions bring up things. And um, from studying, I've learned that emotions um, are in several places. In They store themselves in several places in your body. Um, certain different things. That's why when you feel a certain emotion, you might feel it in your gut. Um, you feel a certain emotion, your heart might ache and you get a headache from certain things. And there's so much I have learned and it's just amazing um, just discovering all these new things. Um, but a little bit off topic, but that's very important um, in my life. Um, doing those things and just every day going and learning myself. <laughs> um but this video is really, really short, and this is little guy today, little big guy, because he's getting big, and of course, he is nursing. Um, typically, um, for anyone that's new here, not all my videos, but a lot of my videos, I am nursing. Um, I would like nursing to be normalized because um, I notice the looks I get when I'm out. Even his dad, even his dad does not like me nursing on camera he just can't stand it even in public he's like and it's natural it's the way to feed your child some people have bottles some people do it this way and it's all personal choice i've done i've done both and um i feel like it's just weird though when people look at me that way i'm like my son's hungry he needs to eat 
Um, I was a little bit shy in the beginning, but it's like, no, your kid's hungry. They want to eat. Um, and breastfeeding is amazing. It has its ups and downs, but it's amazing. You, I know some moms worry about um, how they'll know, but you get this tingly sensation in your boob when the milk is coming in, when your baby's crying, when your baby's hungry. I can be away from the house and I can feel and I know my baby's hungry. He needs to eat right now. Um, it's, it's just amazing. And the bond and just skin to skin contact with your with your newborn feeling and hearing your heartbeat is just amazing. And the bond is incredible. The bond that you're going to have with your kids. But I am not on here to do a long rant or anything today. I'm trying to keep up with my channel and make sure that I am being consistent in posting. Um, so I do ask for ideas and content. Um, I'm trying to help with as much um, advice from personal experience that I can out here. So thank you for watching. You can like, share, and subscribe. Peace until I see you again.